are back on the back on the Falcon. Oh, Ranger, whatever. So I got my gauges, well, fuel gauge. Went ahead and hooked up my contraption here to make sure it's going to be correct. So we are at empty, which is perfect. And then as we go up, all the way to full. There's, oop, there's full. So I know this gauge will work. And I know in the last video I showed, I was a little disappointed in little lights that I ordered. But that got me to thinking, I, I ordered some, if you can see they're green. I'm thinking about using these as the indicator. So when you turn your blinker on, you gotta have something flashing at you. And since these aren't very bright, they're not gonna blind you. So we need to test them. So yeah, I think that flashing at you isn't going to be super annoying. Uh, the other option was going to be something like this one. This, uh, but I think you'd have a hard time seeing after you saw that flashing in your face. And after looking at this, This piece here, there's two little slits. And on the back, all they did was tape this green thing. And I'm missing a green one. And I do know that the light isn't quite as big. But I think if I'm careful enough drilling this hole, I'm sure you're not even going to see it. Uh, let's see. The other thing we need to accomplish is we need to get this gauge inset into the back of this piece to where when this goes in there it'll look eh, something like that and we're going to do the same on this side for the temperature i don't know what to do about the the existing white unless i can get Oh no, that that's raised. Well, as long as it's the same. Eh, it won't look awful, I guess. Anyways, we also need to get the front blinkers together. And I ordered, let's see. So these lights are already a colored light. I think I just showed you that, but we'll do her again. So when it's behind that, it'll be pretty bright. I was afraid if I put a clear one behind that, it was just going to be too bright. And not enough of the amber or yellow color. So we are going to... I already had to fix one of these. The center piece comes out. And I just put rivets in it. I cut new gaskets also and we need to get this bulb not that one that one's clear this bulb set in there like we did like i did the rear tail lights so i'm just going to guesstimate think if i just cut above this dent that looks like that's the that's the shape where the bulb would lock in i'm just going to hack both of these off to make sure they're fairly square. Probably use a piece of uh, rubber tubing if I can find it. And then that part will be done. I can get them put on and wired up. I don't think we can test anything yet. I put, I had to go through several belts, but I got a belt on, fuel filter on. I ordered one of these trailer conversion deals. I'm sure this car had one factory, but it's now been long gone and cut out these are pretty basic pretty straightforward you have all of your everything coming in then everything going out that way your brake and blinker are on one on in this case one set of bulbs so that that needs to be wired in 
need to get this uh, car wrapped up quickly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff cut apart. Now I'm only using this rubber hose here so it'll center that light in, inside of this. Otherwise, uh, otherwise it just sits in there and ton of play. It's the only reason I even use a little piece of this. It's just fuel line, I think. Not a very big chunk. Gets a little snugger than I want. Snugger's a word. Yep. All right, and just like that, the camera battery dies. And the lights are in the housing. Now I'm going to go get these installed, get all the lenses together, and I'm going to get it wired up. Finished product there. Once I get it all bolted in, it'll look a little nicer. Took some time and did a cleanup job on the bezel. That's uh, the blue light I was waiting on. Got the blinker lights installed. The gauges look good when you're sitting in there. A little, little far back for my taste, but I'm not gonna waste much more time on this. Been trying to get knobs in and all the knobs <clears throat> Look pretty sad. They're all painted over. All the new knobs are threaded. There's thread insert in them. Comes with a little love note inside. It says remove cable assembly, remove old knob, and take to local machine shop. Have them run 10 30 second button die on each end of the cable where you remove the old knob, install knob turning clockwise. So, I went ahead and used a, a knife. And I shaved these handles right off. Now, look there. And then uh, I chucked it up in my machine shop here. Got my cute little 10 30 seconds. And the new knob fit just fine. Now, I gotta spend some time trying to figure out how this heat stuff works. I found that the factory choke cable, I'm hoping is long enough. I went ahead and wrapped up the engine bay, got the brake switch done, and I still have a heck of a wiring mess in here. It's, wiring takes literally multiple days to me. Uh, tried testing the wiper motor. I think it's burnt up. I'm gonna have to order one of them. Uh, as soon as I get these knobs all installed, I'm gonna get the, the gauge pod put in. I have everything except for power to the fuel uh, gauge. I don't have that yet. Oh, and a ground wire ran up to everything. Oh, and look at there. I was gonna show more of my work, but it's really difficult. I, I got all the knobs all in. I figured the heat system out. I got the ductwork in. I got wires t 
typed up in there just in case we can get that radio working. Um, but showing, showing wiring work is the same thing. It's connecting wires, putting it together. Now, I am still having an issue. This flasher here uh, doesn't have enough load to really do anything. So, I guess I already had the key on. So when you hit the hit the blinker, that's the, the blink light. It's not blinking. That one, not blinking. But you can see up front, maybe, maybe you can see it. Anyways, we'll go up and... It's really... It's not flashing. But it works. When you hit uh, when you hit headlights, headlights come on, and then um, let's see, brights and the little bright deal comes on and off. I even got the lights to dim. One thing I'm not happy with, and it's my own fault. I didn't pay attention. The fuel gauge in there is bright white, and and maybe it's I guess it could just be the bulb. This one's yellowish, so I might, maybe I can see if I can change that bulb out. That's one thing I'm not ha happy with. Uh, I got two more gauges I need to install here. That's what this is for. I need to button all these wires up. And I ordered this piece, so I need to, I guess, transition. I'm going to have to transition over to doing some exhaust work tomorrow. Uh, this wiring took me... Two full days. So yeah, pretty happy with that. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Oh well, I'll think about it. Well, we got the wiring all wrapped up. I got the new, the other two gauges installed. I, I forgot, I, I thought I recorded me cutting this off and trimming it, but that's life. It's the same, it's supposed to have another bezel holder there or whatever they call it. Uh, everything works, lights, everything dims the way it should. I'm not, I don't know what's wrong with that one. I put LED bulbs in because I wanted it to match how bright everything was. And then, I'm still running the jumper pack because I've been too lazy to get new battery cables. The running lights are these little amber ones. That should be low beam there. Yep, low beam. Tail lights look good. I'm assuming the brake lights worked. I couldn't tell from up there. The only thing I'm waiting on now is I had to wait had to order a new flasher that is like no load flasher or something like that because when you turn the blinker on the lights come on but it's not enough pull for that to flash but the LED upgrade that we did makes it a nice looking amber color got the seat in steering wheel bolted on I haven't put any of this on yet because we haven't figured out how we want to do a horn but I so far I'm I'm liking how it turned out I have not been able to test the floor shift yet we're gonna get this exhaust together as much as possible I just ordered this uh, pre mandrel bent kit on Amazon we're gonna bump it to two inch somewhere I have the little pipe that'll bump it up from, I don't know, inch and three quarter, whatever it is. New donut. But I'm thinking I need to address this air cleaner first. I don't like how it fits on there. It's pretty sloppy. Get a light on. This, I think, should fit around this lip. And I don't know if this is even the right one. It's just a sharp edge. So I'm going to get all this cleaned up, get it flattened out, and we're going to figure out some way 
to get that to sit on top of that carburetor. That's the plan at least. Uh, I'm gonna start digging through my parts and see what I can come up with that might actually work. I have a bunch of scrap to dig through. All right, well, my plan, I found, this is an old uh, intercooler cooler pipe off a 12 valve Cummins. And this is the adapter piece. Unfortunately for me, this adapter piece works fantastic. If it's really nice and snug over that, this piece isn't awful. I think if I try and manipulate this edge down just a little bit more for that roll, because I'd prefer to use this as a little thicker to weld to. I just don't like how loose it is. <clears throat> and I don't want to use this yet. I don't know how much of that I'll need, so out of the question. I'm going to spend some time and see if I can get this lip knocked in just a little bit more all the way around. I want that to fit fairly snug. I might be able to get away with just welding this to that. I didn't realize how well that fit. So I'm going to spend some time. I am going to go ahead and grind that down a little bit and then hammer, hammer this down to where this fits better. And I got to square it up. It's a little wavy and get the paint off it. Well, that's how it turned out. Turned out pretty good. I hit a couple of pockets in there. I must not have got the paint out. Went ahead and patched up those holes. Cut out a little gasket. We'll go see how this thing fits in here now. Air cleaner. I think that's gonna work pretty good. Uh, I think I should put some paint on it before I put it together. All right, next, I'm gonna get this exhaust cut off. I don't know who put this on there, but it is pretty sad shape.
Well, this is what we're starting with. That in there doesn't look all that healthy, but I'm gonna try and save this section, get this wire brush, get this, this doesn't even fit all that great. And then uh, I'm gonna loosely bolt this up and start fitting. I thought this was gonna be the right size reducer. It might be for this, but it's too big that way and I don't like using that. So I don't know what, I don't know what happened when I ordered stuff. Anyway, I'll make the best out of it. This may not even have been for this. This might have been for something else. But we gotta start right here. Pretty well hammered. Let's make sure this one fits. Okay. That's not awful. I think I can just fill the gap. All right. I'm gonna start doing some layout. A little trick I like to use when it's very difficult to get your welder up in there. I got this flange bolted up and then I match this where I want it and I draw my draw a line and where I want this to sit. And then that's how I know where it needs to be tacked. And I'll tack this and then I'll go fit it one more time before I weld this out. And then this should bring me out far enough to where I can start. I need to start coming down a little bit more. I'm gonna run it across the frame rail. Also, I personally like to run these little flex pieces in there. They're stainless steel. They last a long time and uh, this will really help with any kind of movement. I know this car is probably not that big of a deal, but I already have this, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this exhaust knocked out. I'm still waiting on uh, exhaust hangers unless I can find some in my drawers. And I'm hoping after that we can get this car test drove for once and make sure that uh, new shifter we put in works. Exhaust is done. I think that converter box for the rear blinker brake light, maybe there's not enough of a draw, kind of like the flasher. I got the front flashing. That works fine. When you come to the back, the light turns on. And then when I hit the brake, it goes out. With no blinker, hit the brake, the brake light's on. So I believe I need a different converter box. Kind of like I had to get that different flasher. That's not my concern anymore. That's an easy fix, I think. Uh, I've got the engine back together completely. Hooked up the battery. Got the air cleaner on good and snug. Now we just need to get it started. If it starts, we're gonna see how that floor shift works.
Well, I think it'll run good enough to take it for a test drive. I'll get it off these jack stands, clear my driveway, and I guess we'll take it for a spin. Definitely needs some carb tuning. The exhaust turned out pretty good. I'm hoping it's not too low right here, which I'm gonna put one more hanger. And then I basically just went up. I had to do some fancy bending and cutting back there. And, oh yeah, definitely old, uh, even old gas. Uh, I have not pulled the tank to put the new uh, fuel sending unit in. We could do that at my dad's. So I'm gonna get this off and take her for a spin. All right, let's get this thing started. Hopefully that, uh, hopefully that stays. Fuel gauge is wrong since we haven't done that yet. Okay, all right. Can't go too far since the uh, blinkers don't work. went to the floor. No, we're missing the cotter pin. Damn it. Let's see if we can get this back in first because something's not something's not right. Something's hitting on the tire when I turn or something. We gotta investigate that. to go in the first when you're rolling so you have to come to a stop let's see what's hitting when I turn the tire it sounds like something's hitting the fan be addressed. Shit. That's why I say I don't think this is the right motor that's in this. Well, I guess if you leave it hitting too long you just have a big old hole in your oil pan. Okay. Well, 
I think this is as far as I'm going to take this car on this uh, on this part. I have to get it back down to my dad's. He can fiddle with a little bit. Uh, I will figure out the brake blinker conversion. I just probably bought the wrong one. Well, this will be back on the channel again. Don't know when. It's like everything else. But it turned out pretty good. Alright, that's where I'm going to end this one. Thanks for watching.